cyber security certifications. In our previous lesson, I stated that aside your experience and expertise in all the pillars of cyber security, you would have to be certified as a cyber security professional in order to be qualified for any of the cyber security job roles. So in this lesson, I'll be explaining into details all the various types of cyber security certifications and its regulatory bodies. I will also be outlining the recommended cyber security certifications for each of the cyber security job role. And I will as well as provide you with the guidelines for the registration, studying and passing of any of the cyber security certifications. Let's begin the lesson by first defining what a cyber security certification is. With my own understanding of a cyber security certification, a cyber security certification is a form of a proof that a cyber security professional is indeed capable of defending cyber users, cyber systems, and the cyber space from cyber attacks and cyber adversaries. Now that we know the definition of a cyber security certification, let us take a look at some of the characteristics of cyber security certifications. One characteristic of a cyber security certificate is that it could be used as a form of a title. This explains the reason why some cyber security professionals like me are often referred to as certified cyber security professionals. Another characteristic of cyber security certifications is that it is really issued on the basis of passing a cyber security test, which is always in the form of an examination to evaluate if a cyber security professional indeed possesses the required cyber security training, skills, expertise, and the experience to defend cyber systems, cyber users, and the cyberspace from cyber attacks, threats, and adversaries. So, unlike cyber security degrees, Cyber security certifications are not awarded. They are rather earned through the proving of knowledge, expertise, and experience in the field of cyber security. The aspirations of cyber security certifications is the third characteristic of all cyber security certifications. Unlike university cyber security degrees, almost all cyber security certifications have an expiration period between three to five years. Though this particular cyber security certification characteristic is often considered as annoying by most certified cyber security professionals, it actually serves as a form of a mechanism to enforce all certified cyber security professionals to periodically update their knowledge, experience and expertise in the field of cyber security. The fourth characteristic of most cyber security certifications is its own salary wage policy framework. Unlike cyber security degrees, most cyber security certifications detect a salary wage for its holders. So if you get certified with any of the cyber security certifications, make sure to always cross-check the average salary wage of the cyber security certificate you hold from the certificate regulatory website before going for any job interview. The last characteristic of a cyber security certification is its global acceptance. Though there are many cyber security certifications in the world, I advise you to always go in for the globally accepted cyber security certifications since they are acceptable in any part of the world. Not having a globally accepted cyber security certification often limits and prevents a cyber security professional from getting a job in other parts of the world. So for the purpose of you having a globally acceptable cyber security certifications, I will limit our discussion strictly on globally acceptable cyber security certifications. After knowing the general characteristics of all cyber security certifications, let us now dig deeper into each of the globally recognized cyber security certificates and its regulatory institution. Beginning with the most valued cyber security certificate, that is, the Certified Information System Security Professional Certificate, which is regulated and issued by the International Information System Security Certification Consortium. In May 2020, the Certified Information System Security Professional Certificate was recognized by the UK government as a Level 7 award, that is, the same level as a master's degree, a decision that was taken based on the comprehensive curriculum of the SIP certificate. The curriculum of the Certified Information System Security Professional Certificate has been segmented into eight different information security topics, which is referred by its regulators as the eight domains of SIP. So to simply put, your ability to pass the SIP certification exams depends on both your expertise and experience in the following eight domains of the SIP certificate, that is, your expertise in security and risk management, asset security, security architecture and engineering, communication and network security, identity and access management, security assessment and testing, security operations, and lastly, the experience and expertise in software development security. 
expertise which can only be attained through years of learning and experience in the field of cybersecurity or any of the feeder IT job roles. For this reason, one of the basic requirements for all SIP applicants is to have at least five years of working experience in the field of cybersecurity or any of the feeder IT job roles. That is for applicants without any cybersecurity degree or any of the associated information technology degrees. And for degree holders applicants, the minimum years is four years. The following are the reasons why the SIP certificate is considered as the most valued cybersecurity certificate among all other cybersecurity certifications. The first reason is its salary wage. The average annual salary wage of a SIP holder is $131,000 US dollars, which compared to other cybersecurity certifications is the highest. The second reason is its prestige. As of July 1st, 2020, the total number of Certified Information System Security Professional Certificate holders were 141,607 SIP certificate holders. So indeed, there is a form of prestige and pride in being a SIP certificate holder and to also be a member of the largest and the highly esteemed cybersecurity non-profitable association in the world, which is the International Information Systems Certification Consortium. The third reason is its global recognition. The SIP certificate is globally recognized by almost all governments, businesses, government agencies, military setups including the U.S. Department of Defense and other government agencies as a must-have cybersecurity certificate for any of the cybersecurity job role. Meaning as a SIP certificate holder, you are rest assured of getting any cybersecurity job role in any of the business and government agencies across the world. The fourth and also the last reason why the SIP certificate is considered as the most valued cybersecurity certificate in the field of cybersecurity is because of its comprehensive process and its robust curriculum, which I stated earlier as the eight domains of SIP. On this note, let me reiterate that all the eight domains of the SIP certificate have been fused into this master cybersecurity class with Commander Ayam. So for this reason, I urge you to complete all 10 models of this master cybersecurity class. For more detailed information on the Certified Information System Security Professional Certificate and its registration, visit the link on the screen, that is isc2.org. The second and the third globally recognized cybersecurity certification is the Certified Information Security Manager Certification and the Certified Information System Auditor Certificate, both issued and regulated by the Information Systems Audit and Control Association, commonly referred to as ISACA. Though both the Certified Information Security Manager Certification and the Certified Information Systems Auditor Certificate are all required cybersecurity certifications, is the Certified Information Security Manager Certification, which is actually designed as a cybersecurity certificate, whilst the Certified Information Systems Auditor Certificate is actually designed for cyber forensics and auditing. The Certified Information Systems Auditor Certificate is more tougher in terms of exams than the Information Security Manager Certification. In order to pass both the Certified Information Security Manager Certification and the Certified Information System Auditor Certificate, I highly recommend you to review the original exams manual. For both the Certified Information Security Manager Certification and the Certified Information Systems Auditor Certificate from ISACA official website, in order to drastically increase your chance of passing both exams. For more detailed information about the Certified Information Security Manager Certification and the Certified Information Systems Auditor Certificate and its exams and registration, visit isaca.org. It is important to also note that this Master Cyber Security class with Commander Ayam have the exams manual for both the Certified Information Security Manager Certification and the Certified Information System Auditor Certificate fused in into all 10 models of the Cyber Security Master class with Commander Ayam. The GIAC Cyber Security Certification, the GIAC Certified Incident Handler Certificate, and the GIAC Certified Forensic Analyst Certificate are the fourth, fifth, and sixth globally recognized cyber security certification, respectively. All the three cyber security certifications are issued and regulated by SANS, a globally recognized cyber security and cyber forensic institution. Cyber certifications issued and regulated by SANS are all deemed and considered to be of military standard because of the rigorous process of training involved in attaining it, and also the fact that most of SANS instructors are former military cyber specialists. 
Aside the SIP Cyber Security Certification, the GIAC Cyber Security Certification, the GIAC Certified Incident Handler Certificate, and the GIAC Certified Forensic Analyst Certificate will qualify you for a cyber security job position in any of the military institutions across the world or any sensitive security agency like the US Department of Defense or any intelligence agency. So if in case you seek to be a cyber security professional in the military or any intelligence agency, then I urge you to get certified with the GIA Cyber Security Certification, the GIA Certified Incident Handler Certificate, and the GIA Certified Forensic Analyst. It's important to note that the curriculum of all three cyber security certifications are designed with all the six keys of cyber security features. That is, cyber defense, offensive operations, cloud security, digital forensics and incident response, management and leadership, and lastly, subject on industrial control systems, features which has been fused into this cyber security masterclass. The seventh globally recognized cyber security certificate is the Comtia Security Plus Certificate, which is issued and regulated by Comtia. The Comtia Security Plus Certificate is a must-have cyber security certificate for all cyber security professionals because it's considered as the baseline between any of the feeder IT cyber security job roles and cyber security. The examination process of Comtia Security Plus Certificate is not as tough, robust, and rigorous like other cyber security certifications. For more detailed information about the Comtia Security Plus Certificate, visit comtia.org. The Information Technology Infrastructure Library Certificate is the last globally recognized cyber security certificate on our list of globally acceptable and recognized cyber security certifications. The Information Technology and Infrastructure Library Certificate is issued and regulated by Axelos, a joint venture between Comtia and the UK Cabinet Office. The Information Technology Infrastructure Library Certificate is an entry level of qualification in the field of Information Technology Services Management. And it's also a required cyber security certification for the following cyber security job roles, which is the role of a cyber security consultant, the role of an incident analyst or a responder, the role of an IT auditor, and the role of a cyber security architect. For more detailed information about the Information Technology Infrastructure Library Certificate, visit axilos.com. Having known into details the various cyber security certifications and its regulators, let us now discuss into details both the recommended and the required cyber security certifications for each of the cyber security job roles we identified earlier on in the cyber security career pathway. Let's start with the entry cyber security job roles. Beginning with the first cyber security entry job role, that is, the role of a cyber security specialist or a technician. A cyber security professional who seeks to become a cyber security technician or a specialist will have to at least have three of the following cyber security certifications. That is, the Certified Information System Security Professional Certificate, the Certified Information System Auditor Certificate, the Certified Information Security Manager Certificate, the Comptia Security Plus Certificate, and lastly, SANS GIAC Certification. In addition to a cyber security degree or any information technology related bachelor's graduate degree, all of which ensures and proves that a cyber security specialist or a technician have cyber skills in information security, information systems, information assurance, network security, security operations, vulnerability assessment, project management, the technical know-how in Linux operating systems, and as well as the NIST cyber security framework. The role of a cyber security specialist or a technician have an annual salary wage of 89,000 US dollars as at the first quarter of 2021. It's important to note that all these cyber security skills can be attained before the completion of all the 10 models of this cyber security class with Commander IAM. The role of a cyber crime analyst or an investigator is the next entry cyber security job role in the cyber security career pathway. Though the role of a cyber crime analyst or an investigator is a cyber security job role, it is also considered as a cyber forensic job role because of the involvement of cyber investigations. For this reason, 
In addition to having either a cybersecurity degree or any information technology associated degree with a cybersecurity certification like the Certified Information System Security Professional Certificate and Sun Cyber Security Certification, the role of a cybercrime analyst or an investigator requires cyber forensic certifications like the NK Certified Examiner Certificate, the GIAC Certified Forensic Analyst Certificate, and the GIAC Certified Incident Handler Cyber Forensic Certificate. All of which actually proves that a cyber crime analyst or an investigator have experience and expertise in computer forensics, the Linux operating system, information security, consumer electronics, computer hard drives and other forms of cyber storage devices, information systems, malware engineering, the Unix operating system, and the use of cyber forensic tools. Though this role is described as a cyber crime analyst or an investigator in the cyber security career pathway, it could also be referred to as the role of a digital forensic analyst, the role of a cyber forensic specialist, the role of a cyber security forensic analyst, or the role of a computer forensic analyst. So don't be confused if in case you hear any of these cyber security roles being used interchangeably. In terms of salary wage, cyber crime analysts and investigators have an annual salary wage of 93,000 US dollars as at the first quarter of 2021. The role of an incident analyst or a responder is the third cyber security job role in the entry level. A cyber security professional seeking for the role of an incident analyst or a responder must have the following cyber security certifications. That is, the Certified Information System Security Professional Certificate, SAN Cyber Security Certification, the GIAC Certified Incident Handler Certificate, the CompTIA Security Plus Certificate, and the Information Technology Infrastructure Library Certification, all of which prove that an incident analyst or a responder possesses the required skills and expertise in information security, project management, information systems, intrusion detection, network security, technical support, the technical know-how in security operation, and the operation of both Linux and Unix operating systems. The following IT cyber rules are similar to the rule of an incident analyst or a responder. The rule of a senior analyst or information security, the rule of a disaster recovery specialist, the rule of a network technical specialist, and the role of an audit project manager or information security. In terms of salary wage, the role of an incident analyst or a responder can be considered as the least cyber security job role in the entry level with an annual salary wage of 85,000 US dollars as at the first quarter of 2021. Last in the entry level is the role of an IT auditor. Though the role of an IT auditor can be advanced to only two of the cyber security job roles in the mid level, it has similar cyber security certifications with that of the role of a penetration and a vulnerability tester and could be considered as the topmost ranked cyber security entry job role with an annual salary wage of US$95,000 as at the first quarter of 2021. The following are the required cyber security certifications for the role of an IT auditor. The Certified Information System Auditor Certificate, the Certified Information System Security Professional Certificate, the Information System Certification, the Information Security Manager Certificate, and lastly, the Information Technology Infrastructure Library Certification. All of which prove that an IT auditor have the experience and expertise in systems internal auditing, auditing planning, information systems, risk assessment, accounting, information security, business processes, and is also abreast with the Corby Cyber Security Policy Framework. Other related IT auditor job titles are the title of an IT audit consultant, the title of an IT audit manager, and lastly, the title of an IT internal auditor. In the mid level, the role of a cyber security analyst requires cyber security certifications such as the Certified Information System Security Professional Certificate, SAN Cyber Security Certification, the Certified Information System Auditor Certificate, the Certified Information Security Manager Certificate, and the CompTIA Security Plus Certification, in addition with either a cyber security degree or any related information technology bachelor's degree. And because the role of a cyber security analyst is a mid-level cyber security job role, it requires at least a mid-level experience and expertise in information security, network security, information systems, the technical know-how in Linux operating systems, skills in vulnerability assessment, intrusion detection and expertise in project management. Related cyber security analyst job titles include 
information security analyst, information technology security analyst, and senior security analyst. And with an annual salary wage of 96,000 US dollars, the role of a cyber security analyst is the second in terms of the most paid cyber security job role in the mid-level, as at the first quarter of 2021. Second in the mid-level is the role of a cyber security consultant, which requires the following cyber security certifications. The Certified Information System Security Professional Certificate, the Certified Information System Auditor Certificate, the Certified Information Security Manager Certificate, SAN Cyber Security Certification, and lastly, the Information System Certification. All in addition with either a cyber security degree or any information technology related bachelor's degree. Because the role of a cyber security consultant involves consulting, the role of a cyber security consultant requires at least a mid-level of experience and expertise in information security, oracle, project management, information systems, surveillance, cyber asset protection, Python programming skills, and the technical know-how in both the prevention of cyber criminal activities and security operations. The role of a cyber security consultant have the same job description with the following cyber security job titles. That is the title of security specialist, security consultant, physical security specialist, and the title of personal security specialist. With an annual salary wage of 91,000 US dollars, the role of a cyber security consultant is the least salary wage paid in the mid level as at the first quarter of 2021. Last in the mid level is the role of a penetration and a vulnerability tester. With an annual salary wage of 104,000 US dollars, as at the first quarter of 2021, the role of a penetration and a vulnerability tester is the most paid cybersecurity job role in the mid level. Due to the intense job description of the role of a penetration and a vulnerability tester, the job requires cybersecurity certifications such as the Certified Information System Security Professional Certificate, SAN Cybersecurity Certification, the Certified Information Security Manager Certificate, the Certified Information System Auditor Certificate, and lastly, the Computer Security Plus Certificate, all in addition with either a cybersecurity degree or any information technology related bachelor's degree. The following are the required cyber skills and expertise for the role of a penetration and a vulnerability tester. The technical know-how in Linux operating systems, the pro-efficiency in system penetration testing, system vulnerability assessment, software development, information security, project management, information systems, and the expertise in Python and Java programming language. And in terms of similar job description, the role of a penetration and a vulnerability tester have the same job description with the following cyber rules. That is the role of a senior penetration tester, the role of a network relation consultant, and lastly, the role of an application security analyst. First in the advanced level is the role of a cyber security manager or an administrator. A cyber security job role which is considered as a managerial role and also as the topmost ranked cyber security job role across all the three levels in the cyber security career pathway. but is the second most paid cyber security job role in the advanced level with an annual average salary wage of 103,000 US dollars as at the first quarter of the year 2021. The following are the top cyber security certifications that are required for the role of a cyber security manager or an administrator. The Certified Information System Security Professional Certificate, the Certified Information Security Manager Certificate, the Computer Security Plus Certificate, a SAN Cyber Security Certification, and lastly, the Certified Information System Auditor Certificate. All in addition with either a cyber security degree or any information technology related degree. Because the role of a cyber security manager or an administrator involves managerial duties, cyber expertise and skills such as expertise in information security, in information systems, in project management, in information assurance, network security, technical know-how in the use of Linux operating systems, and the in-depth knowledge in NIST cyber security and risk management policy framework are the required cyber security skills for the role of a cyber security manager or an administrator. The common job titles in relation with the role of a cyber security manager or an administrator are the title of an information security manager, the title of an information system security officer, the title of a security administrator, and lastly, the title of an information security officer.
Second in the advanced level is the role of a cyber security engineer. Though the role of a cyber security engineer appears to be the most demanding cyber security job role in this cyber security career pathway, as at the time I was recording, it is the least paid cyber security job role in the advanced level, with an annual salary wage of 99,000 US dollars as at the first quarter of the year 2021. The following are the required cyber security certifications for the role of a cyber security engineer. The Certified Information System Security Professional Certificate, SAN Cyber Security Certification, the Certified Information Security Manager Certificate, the CompTIA Security Plus Certificate, and lastly, the Certified Information Systems Auditor Certificate. All with either a cyber security degree or any information technology related bachelor's degree. And due to the intensity of the role of a cyber security engineer, the experience, expertise, and skills in information security, network security, information systems, project management, the technical know how in the operation of Linux operating systems, the poor efficiency with the Python programming language in addition with other programming languages, the expertise in the configuration of Cisco routers, and the advanced knowledge and expertise in both cryptography and cyber authentication are the required cyber skills for the job role of a cyber security engineer. The job role of a cyber security engineer have the same job description with the following cyber security job roles. That is the role of a security engineer, the role of a network security engineer, and the role of an information security engineer. As at the time of recording this video, the role of a cyber security engineer was the most demanding cyber security job role in the US as at the first quarter of the year 2021. Last in the advanced level is the role of a cyber security architect, which happens to be the most paid cyber security job role among all the cyber security job roles with an annual salary wage of 131,000 US dollars as at the first quarter of the year 2021. The role of a cyber security architect involves the building, designing and setting up of cyber security devices and cyber security architectural designs. In order to be qualified for the role of a cyber security architect, you ought to have the following cyber security certifications. That is, the Certified Information System Security Professional Certificate, the Certified Information Security Manager Certificate, SANS Cyber Security Certification, the Certified Information System Auditor Certificate, and the Information Technology Infrastructure Library Certification. All in addition with either a cyber security degree or any information technology related bachelor's degree. In terms of cyber skills and expertise, the role of a cyber security architect requires expertise and skills in information security, network security, cryptography, information systems, software development, systems authentication, the advanced technical know-how in the operation of Linux operating systems, expertise in Cisco routing, and the in-depth knowledge in NIST cyber security policy framework. The role of a cyber security architect have the same job description with the role of a security architect, a senior security architect, and the role of an information technology security architect. In summary, the following is the overview of all the cyber security certifications in relation with all 10 cyber security job roles. The Certified Information System Security Professional Certificate, which I said is considered as the most valued cyber security certification in the field of cyber security, is a required cyber security certification for all 10 cyber security job roles in the cyber security career pathway. Quals SAN Cyber Security Certification, that is, the Global Information Assurance Certification, is a required cyber security certification for 9 out of 10 cyber security job roles in the cyber security career pathway. followed by both the Certified Information System Auditor Certificate and the Certified Information Security Manager Certificate as the required cyber security certification for 8 out of 10 cyber security job roles in the cyber security career pathway. Then the CompTIA Security Plus Certificate as the required cyber security certification for 5 out of 10 cyber security job roles in the cyber security career pathway. As your cyber security instructor and an experienced and a certified cyber security professional, I advise you to first get certified with the CompTIA Security Plus certificate, that is if you are not yet certified with any of the cyber security certification. 
This is because unlike other cybersecurity certifications, the CompTIA Security Plus is considered as the basic cybersecurity certificate among all the cybersecurity certifications. And it's also designed to suit non-cybersecurity professionals who seek to become cybersecurity professionals. The Information Technology Infrastructure Certification is the fifth commonly sought after cybersecurity certificate, with it being required by four out of ten cybersecurity job roles in the cybersecurity career pathway. Both the NK Certified Examiner Certificate, the GIA Certified Incident Handler Certificate, and the GIA Certified Forensic Analyst Certificate are all cyber forensic certifications required for the job role of a cyber crime analyst or an investigator and the job role of an incident analyst or a responder. The last is the Information Systems Certification, which is also a required cyber security certificate for two out of ten cyber security job roles in the cyber security career pathway. That is the role of a cyber security consultant and the role of an IT auditor. I believe by now you know the type of cyber security certification to go in for, depending on the cyber security career pathway you would like to pursue. It's important to note that there are other cyber security certifications that are equally good but are not globally accepted or recognized. So, for the purpose of you getting a cyber security job within a particular geographical area where a particular cyber security certificate is locally accepted and recognized, I advise you to equally pursue such cyber security certifications. I recommend you to also pursue cyber security certifications from any military institution. In collaboration with Cover Cyber Command and with the Cyber Institute of Technology, my students who are able to pass my standard cyber security exams at the end of the 10th model would be issued a recognized cyber security certificate.